I was today old when I learned that German chocolate cake was not named for the country Germany, but rather it was named after a dude, a guy named Samuel German who is known for some type of chocolate. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. You learn something new every day, right? So I'm working on my cake book yet again. And of course, no cake book would be complete if we didn't have German chocolate cake in it. So I've tried this recipe several times, not this specific one, but other ones. And so I'm trying this one today because it's kind of similar to the stuff that I've tried before, but yet a little bit different. So first of all, they always start with creaming the butter and the sugar first, but I'm going to start with melting the chocolate first. And this is not German chocolate that I'm using, I'll be honest with you guys. I just got some of the semi-sweet stuff from the store, but you should use German chocolate, all right? Four whole ounces. This cake is a rich cake because it uses a lot of butter, a lot of sugar, cake flour of all things expensive cake flour and it uses the German chocolate of course so let's take a look at well let's start first of all by melting the chocolate and then I'm gonna show you the ingredients for the cake all right so I have a little skillet here and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour half a cup of water with four ounces of the chocolate in here and we're just gonna cook this on low until it melts it doesn't take long so don't walk away okay just keep stirring it So now it's melted and I'm going to go ahead and pour it into this bowl and set it aside so it can cool down. So this is why I wanted to melt this first before I got the cake started because this needs some time to cool down. So we're going to need sugar, butter softened to room temperature. We're going to need eggs separated, vanilla extract, the chocolate that we just cooked, cake flour, baking soda, not baking powder and salt but I'm not putting salt because my butter is salted all right we're gonna need buttermilk but I don't have any so I'm using coconut milk see this is the cake flour and this is the baking soda that I'm using I've greased and floured my pans and I've cut out some parchment paper and I'm just gonna set them in the pans I've made it a practice to put parchment paper in my pans because I really don't want to have trouble getting my cakes out of the pans, okay? And the last one right here. So I'm doing this very early in the morning, even before breakfast. And Joe is over there in the corner going, when are you going to be done? <laughs> so put the butter and the sugar in a large bowl. And I'm going to put the list of ingredients down below, okay? We want to go ahead and mix this until it's fluffy. Make sure you scrape down the bowl as you go along. And it's gonna take a while to get fluffy because it's still cold, even though the butter room temperature of the house is cold. So now we're gonna add the egg yolks, one at a time, but my egg yolks were busted on each other, so it is what it is. We're just gonna add it a little bit at a time. So this is all the egg yolks. Did you recently visit Belize and someone gave you or you bought this delicious treat Belizean powder bun? Now you're back home and you're wondering how you can get some powder buns. Well, I have the solution for you. With my powder bun dry mix, you're going to get four five inch powder buns with just the addition of three simple ingredients and four easy steps inside of 30 minutes, you can have this sweet treat. Pick up a pouch today at my website, bearpantryshow.com. I'm Barbara from The Bear Pantry Show, and I've been teaching people for over 12 years how to make Belizean food on YouTube and Facebook. So I promise you this powder bun mix is going to take you right back to your beautiful vacation. Now we're going to go ahead and scrape off our spatula, because if your spatula has grooves in it, you know, stuff is being built up in there, and you don't want to leave stuff at different phases of making the batter. So clean your spatula every so often, see? That little crease right there is going to have stuff stored there. And we're going to mix again. Scrape down the bowl again. I feel like it's fluffy enough now, so I'm going to add my extract. Homemade vanilla extract. Mix everything really well here and then add the chocolate. It's cooled down sufficiently so it's not going to fry my egg yolks. And every step of the way we want to be scraping down the bowl. Now let's mix the dry ingredients. This is the baking soda and the cake flour. 
no salt because like I said earlier my butter is salted and we're gonna add this to the creamed mixture alternately with the milk all right I'm using coconut milk like I said let's do a third and then I'm gonna use my spatula to work it into the cream mixture because I don't want stuff to go flying everywhere uh, I started to do this when I started to film for the show because I don't want the stuff to get on my lens but I do it even when I'm not filming because um, it's become like muscle memory now right mix this in really well and then we're gonna add about a third of the milk and we're just eyeballing I love making stuff with coconut milk by the way I don't like using buttermilk for things that call for buttermilk so you get the idea as to what we're doing right scraping down scrape off the spatula this is the second time I'm scraping off the spatula in the process and I don't scrape off the beaters for the hand mixer because those get in there really really well okay I think I got it all I'm really OCD about this by the way put another third of the flour work it in before I mix it with the hand mixer next another third of the milk mix that in you guys get the idea right so this is the last batch mix it in the last batch of milk mix that in all right so now I'm gonna take my beaters off scrape these off to get all the batter off of it and then I'm gonna wash them put it back on the mixer because now we're gonna beat those egg whites to stiff peaks takes about five to seven minutes see stiff peaks and now we're gonna fold let me put about a third in thereabouts and then grab my folding spatula I love to show you guys this folding spatula see it looks like an ovation guitar <laughs> so now we're gonna fold then put some more and we're just gonna keep adding the egg whites and fold until there are no more streaks of egg whites going through the batter my oven is already up to temperature at 350 so now I'm just gonna eyeball putting even amounts into three 9 by 2 inch cake pans and I'm just going back and forth between the three pans to make sure that I get it as even as I can go so this uh, cake batter feels very foamy so I don't want to knock it down I'm just gonna level it off with this knife and then I'm gonna give it a little shake I feel like if we knock it down we're gonna knock down some of the fluff that we built up now into the oven they go I'm gonna put the third one on the second shelf my oven is not level so I never put cakes on the back okay I'm gonna set the timer for 20 minutes because that's what the recipe says but I really feel like we're gonna need more so now while that bakes let's take care of the filling and the topping which is the same thing so I'm using my little egg separator here that I got from Amazon to separate three eggs we're just gonna use the yolks this time all right this thing's kind of slow so here are my yolks now let's go over to the stove grab me my skillet more butter half a stick of butter guys one cup of sugar one cup of evap milk and three egg yolks now let's light the fire put it on low things beeping let's go ahead and check on this here cake 20 minutes let's see mm -mm. that still looks liquidy in the middle let's give it 10 more minutes while we work on this filling so we want to stir this slowly I think I ended up putting some vanilla extract in here too just a little bit like half a teaspoon mix it now this has become a custard we want this to get thick see it's cooking foaming don't go don't walk away okay don't walk away because you don't want it to scald so this feels thick enough I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off let's go ahead and check on this cake 10 minutes still wasn't enough so I'm gonna give it five more minutes so that's 35 minutes let's put the custard in this bowl the recipe calls for one and a third cup of coconut flakes but if I need more of that I'm gonna add more okay because this batter looks or the custard looks kind of thin 
So this is the one and a third cups of coconut flakes, some chopped up pecans. Yeah, this is too thin. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more coconut flakes because this has to be spreadable. And this is gonna be a naked cake because we're not gonna frost the cake, okay? We're just gonna put this filling in between the layers and on top, but we are gonna drizzle some melted chocolate around the edges. So let's check again. Yup, clean toothpick. So I put it on my cooling rack, all three of them. This is from my friend Shanika. I like how these are stackable. Now after 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and remove the cakes. Ooh, don't be so rough. The cakes are very, very tender. Let me get the other one. Man, I'm, I'm real rough with these cakes <laughs> when I'm dumping them. And then the last one. We're gonna allow these to completely cool before we start stocking. So now let's put the filling on the first layer. Let me clear a path for you guys to be able to see. I'm gonna be very careful with the spreading because these nuts might wanna rip into my cake. Now normally if we're gonna frost the cake, we would pipe a ring of frosting around the outer perimeter of the cake so this filling can stay on the inside, but we're not gonna frost this cake. I don't know what happened with the camera just now, it just went dark. Second layer, put the frosting on top. Well, the filling, this is the filling, right? Filling on top. This is a coconut pecan filling. I want some of it to show on the edge. Well, you know, when I take the picture, want some of it to be kind of pouring out. So I'm being careful how I press it to the edge. See like this, see what's showing? Now put all the rest on top and spread it out carefully and evenly. For the melted chocolate, we're gonna use one ounce of the semi-sweet chocolate with half a teaspoon of shortening and we're gonna nuke it in the microwave for like five minutes, okay? See, I'm still fixing things here. Let's melt our chocolate. Once the chocolate cools down after it's melted, then we're gonna drizzle it on the edge and I don't know why I don't have footage from two cameras. I was running two cameras and I don't have footage of that, but we drizzled. And now I'm gonna cut into the cake. I'm on the other side of the counter because Joe says, get out the kitchen, I need to make my breakfast. You're taking too long with this cake. This cake was a lot of steps, guys. You have to really love somebody to make them this cake. <laughs> So I switched out knives because I didn't like the way my cake knife felt going through the cake. It was ripping it. Ooh, 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 okay. Get it on the plate. Take my pictures from my cake book. Mm -hmm. Look at this, guys. I cut a big chunk of it and put it in the freezer for when a friend of mine visits. I can take it out, thaw it out, and give it to him because he was the one that asked me to make him this cake for his birthday last year. And I said, I have to learn first. So the rest of it, I kind of took my photo shoot and everything. Joe ate a piece. And this, I'm going to give away to the neighbors across the street. Why? Because we have 26 cakes to make. I think I'm going to have 35 cakes in that cake book. And I already have some made. And we have 26 left to make. Well, I made two already, so 24 left to make. I can't eat all of these cakes. That's why I had set this book aside and not finish it. Because it's too many cakes to make. So this one came out pretty good. Um, I think... It's not my favorite cake to eat, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like this, nor red velvet, right? But it's a real moist, tasty cake. If you like German chocolate cake, this would be the recipe for you guys, all right? And it's gonna go in my book. So, if you guys like the video, go ahead and like it. Share it out for me. I look forward to your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, all right? See you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to pick up your powder on mix. Bearpunchyshow.com. I like the filling. Mm -hmm. This is the best.